In today's lesson, we will be reviewing the rest of our multiplication strategies. You will need your half page we glued in our math journals to keep taking today's notes on. So if you don't have it with you, pause the video and go get it now so that you are prepared. Now we are back to our multiplication strategies notes. We had left off with our doubles facts, the multiples of two. Circle the doubles on your notes. Many of our other multiplication strategies will build on this one. So let's revisit the doubles facts quickly. To multiply any number by two, double it. So you see seven plus seven is 14. Well, we know that two times seven is 14 because it's just seven two times. Check out the threes facts. We can call these doubles plus one because to multiply any number by three, double it and then add one more set of that number. Check it out. Our grid for three times seven over here is really two times seven, the doubles, plus another seven. So we can solve two times seven first, get 14, and then add on seven more since it's three sevens, and that would be 21. Same thing is happening here with three times nine. We've got nine, the nine by two shaded in blue there, representing nine times two is 18, the double, plus another nine, the red, added onto the array makes a total of 27. So let's add some examples to our notes for the times three facts. We call those doubles plus one set. For all of these, we will double the number and then add it one more time. Here's a way we could write that to show what we mean. Four times three is equal to four times two, the double, plus four equals 12. Now I want you to think of one more three multiplication fact to add to this line and write it similar to the way we wrote our example to remind us that multiples of three are really doubles plus one. Now we are looking at the times four facts. These we call the double doubles. Here are two couples going on vacation. We have two groups of two. To multiply any number by four, double the number and then double that product. This first grid shows four times seven and two colored arrays. The red array represents two times seven, a double, and the blue array represents two times seven, another double. We know that two times seven is 14, so we either multiply 14 times two, or we could add 14 plus 14 to get 28, which is the product of four times seven. Times four facts are called double doubles. I encourage you to draw the two couples going on vacation together to help you. Two groups of two will be two double arrays joined together on the area grid. Let's use nine times four as our example for the first one here. So we've got nine times four is really nine times two represented with the blue array, which is 18. And then we have our second double, the red array, which is also nine times two, 18. So then we add 18 plus 18 together, or 18 two times, which is 36. Instead of writing another example on this line, I actually want you to draw that 9 by 14 or, or the 9 by 4 array with two different colors the way we have done here next to your notes. If you don't have room in your notebook, use the next page. Be sure to label it with what multiplication problem it represents. Heading into the 5 facts. We call them the half tens facts because half of 10 is 5. Check out how we can accomplish this. To multiply any number by five, multiply it by 10 and then divide the rest in half or the result in half. We know 10 times six is 60. The tens facts are no brainers for us. So it's easy for us to think of them. Now, because five is half of 10, we can take the answer 60 and divide that in half. We know that 30 plus 30 is 60, so 60 divided into two equal parts would be 30. And that means that our five facts, or our five fact, five times six is equal to 30, half of 60. Times five facts are the half tens facts. We multiply by 10 and take half. 
we could say 3 times 5 equals half of 3 times 10, which is half of 30. 30 divided in half is 15, because 15 plus 15 is 30. Now add another example for the half 10 strategy we just reviewed, either on the same line if you have room, or on another page. Pause the video if you need a minute. The multiples of 6 are next. We call these the half 10s plus 1 set facts, because to multiply any number by 6, multiply it by 5, and then add one more set of that number. We've been skip counting by 5s for a few years now, so that's comfortable. Skip count by 5 and then add one more. 8 times 6 is really 8 times 5, represented by the array in orange, plus one more set of 8, since there are 6 sets of 8. Do you see that? We add one more set of 8, represented in purple, so 8 times 5 is 40. That's right. And then we add 8 more. 40 plus 8 is 48. You can remember this little jingle to help you with this fact. 6 and 8 went on a date. They came back as 48. Now let's capture our times 6 facts with an example to show half tens plus 1. 6 times 4 equals 5 times 4 plus 1 more 4 equals 24. Now you write one more example to go along with your notes. If you don't have room on this line, write it again on the next page. The eight facts are called double, double, doubles facts. And you want to know why? Check out those area grids. Yeah, it's because to multiply any number by eight, double the number, then double the product, and finally double that product. What do I mean? Let's look at nine times eight. We know that nine times two is 18 because it's a double. We can see that shaded in blue on the grid. Then we have, then we double 18. See that? 18 plus 18? Yeah, it's 36. Two 18s is 36. We see that shaded in red on the grid. So we have the blue and the red now together, representing 36. And finally, we double that product. So we have 36 plus 36, or 36 doubled, which is? 72, and that means that 9 times 8 is 72. For the times 8 facts, we have the double, double, doubles. We could say 8 times 6 is equal to 2 times 12, which we know is 24, doubled again is 48. 8 times 6 is 48. How can we find the 9's facts? Many, many ways. But the way we're looking at today is this strategy, tens minus one. To multiply any number by nine, multiply it by 10, and then subtract one set of that number. Let's look at nine times six to show what we mean. Well, we know that 10 times six is 60, which is the array shaded on the left. So we subtract six from that, which you see on the grid was shaved off shaved off to be 54. Nine times six is 54. The times nine facts are the tens minus one set. We can write the example we just talked about here on this line. Nine times six is equal to 10 times six, which we know is 60, minus six, which is 54. Okay, last one, tens facts. To multiply any number by 10, Think of the number that is equal to that many tens. What do we mean? Well, look at the first example. 10 times 4 is 40. Check out the grid. We have 4 going across and 10 down. 10 times 4 is the same as 4 tens. We call that number 40. Same goes for the other example. 7 times 10 is the same as 7 tens, and we call that number 70. Last note, 10 times 4 is equal to 4 tens which is 40. Awesome.